Buxomly, roaringly splendid to have you here. How are you, sir? Heartily well, Your Highness. I dined hugely off a of servant before I come into town. Um, you eat your servants? Yes, sir. I eat off them. Why should I spend good money on tables when I have men standing idle? <laughs> Why, indeed. Now, I dare say you've heard of Mr. Pitt's intentions. Young scallywag! Ah, so you don't approve of his plans to abolish me, then? I do not, sir. Damn his eyes! Damn his britches! Damn his duck pond! Well, hurrah for that! I care not a jot that you are the son of a certified sauerkraut-sucking loon. Oh, thank you, sir. It minds not me that you dress like a mad parrot and talk like a plate of beans negotiating their way out of a cow's digestive system. <laughs> it is no skin off my rosy nose that there are bits of lemon peel floating down the Thames that would make better regents than you. Oh, bravo! The fact is, yeah, yeah. you are regent. Yes, I am. Pointed yeah. by God. And I shall stick by you forever, though infirmity lay me waste and ill health curse my every waking moment. Well, good on you, sir. And don't talk to me about infirmity. Why, sir, you are the hardy stock that is the core of Britain's greatness. You have the physique of a demigod, purple of cheek and plump of fetlock, the shapely ankle and the well-filled trouser that tells of a human body in perfect working order. He's dead, sir. <laughs> Dead? <laughs> yes, Your Highness. Oh, what bad luck. We were rather getting on. <laughs>